hands toward heaven. I'm praying the Holy Ghost. Can we lift our hands and pray in the Holy Ghost? Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Shabbat Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Can we pray? Can we pray in the Holy Ghost? You reign, you ancient Zion God before I teach until you have shared the grace all that God intends to do in the meeting is not yet completed even during the sharing of the grace there is still release of grace we thank God for what, what he has done but that cannot be all that he wants to do so we humble ourselves and we allow for what God wants to do to find expression. See, if you will open your heart tonight, Daddy has spoken, the man of God has spoken. That's enough to change your life. But you see, the duration of time given to every minister will determine to a large extent that which the Spirit can alter through that verse at that time. So if you give the man of God 10 hours, he will keep sharing other things too. Why? Because God answers us at different times, even in the same meeting. Are we together? So, for some people, their answer was in the previous session. Some people, their answer is when? It's in this session. So, what I need you to do is open your heart. Don't, don't, don't get tired and now say, ah, you've not had enough. Can you have enough of God? We can't. So, I know that you are. How many of you are tired? If you are tired, sit down. If you are not tired, you can keep standing. I want us to just pray for two, three minutes. And let's trust the Holy Spirit. Can we pray for two, three minutes? Very quickly. And just pray in the Spirit. Just pray in the Spirit. If you cannot pray in the Spirit, just say, Lord, an encounter. An encounter. An encounter. Those that have understanding will pray. Those that have understanding will pray. Lord. One more minute, let's pray in the spirit. I, I feel we should worship God for some time. Let's pray in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Can we worship God? Sing, you are worthy. 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 Of our praise.
join us in worship. Let it turn 
touch, touch once again. Let it on it. River flow, river flow, river flow. And get it on a river flow. On your touch once again. Let it on it. River flow, river flow, river flow. Let it on a river flow. In your touch once again.
Some miracles do, does not need to happen because you said it should happen. Yes, it should sir. happen by default. That you are just around. It should happen. Saul came to the presence of Samuel. Samuel did not say receive the anointing. But Saul began to prophesy. And they asked the question, is Saul also? Papa. The kind of anointing we speak about tonight is a demonstration of the spirit of God. The radius is very wide. The perimeter is very wide. Somebody can be listening from the speaker and the hand of God can reach him where he is. Why? There is no distance in the realm of the spirit. So if you are hiding at the back, even if you are not dancing, if you are moving small, small, it's an act of faith. The Holy Ghost can still reach you too. The proof of your own guys that you decided to come. Now that you have come, you must take it to another level by participating. Somebody say participate. Participate. Let me, can, we, can I teach you one more song? I, I'm seeing the ministry of the Holy Spirit will be strong here. Can I teach you another song? Glory, glory. Hallelujah What a Savior What a friend Glory, 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 glory Hallelujah Hallelujah What a Savior What a Savior What a friend What a friend Glory, glory Hallelujah Hallelujah What a Savior What a Savior 
complete in him which is the head of all principality and power he said you are complete meaning we are not trying to add something to you it's on your inside I Ali 
Oh my God, oh my God, Sevi Askamahate, Berina Hante, Kalatoate, Eida, IK, Kena, Zei, Atole Bohoa, Si Parataya. The Lord is opening spiritual ears. The Lord is opening spiritual ears. The Lord is opening spiritual ears. The Lord is restoring joy. He's restoring joy. He's restoring joy. The Lord says the oil of gladness. The oil of joy. The oil of gladness. The oil of joy. The oil Azabate Betate. Bele Satabaria. Atabakatabaliana. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Asepe. Ebeleteleke. Ebente. Aporia Taziza. Balatabatagope. Semenene tabala to pela selanat elemeni gelie to na ne mana na mane kit Oh Jesus Thank you Lord The hand of God is upon a lady at the back There's a lady lifting up her right hand the hand of God is upon her as I count one to three, I declare in the name of Jesus a release of a fresh anointing, a fresh anointing, a fresh anointing. One, two, three. Touch now, touch now, touch now, touch now, touch now, touch now, touch, touch, touch. Look at that, help her. Touch in the name of Jesus. That's number one. Thank you, Lord. Wait. Wait. Oh, Jesus. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. I see a deliverance presence. Calvary, Calvary. Oh. Are lifted at Calvary. Oh my God. Wait. Lift your two hands. Lift your two hands. Lift your two hands. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. things in this place ah. yokes are breaking 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 
Yokes are breaking. Just close your eyes. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Se balivas abale talianda rahake. Embrete zisto velahaya. Those under the sound of my voice. Who are under one demonic yoke or the other. The workings of the enemy limiting you from fulfilling your prophetic destiny. I stretch my hands toward you in the name of Jesus from my left to my right. I declare now, let the hand of God begin to touch you. And let that yoke be broken now. Let that yoke be broken now. At the count of five, let the hand of God touch you. One, two, three, four, five. Receive now deliverance in the name of Jesus. There's someone here struggling with bedwetting. There's someone here struggling with bedwetting. Wherever you are, the hand of the Lord will come upon you. You will never see it again. You will never see it again. You will never see it again. But I see great things happening here. I see great things happening here. Can we pray in the spirit one minute? I want to teach, but God is doing something. Can we pray in the spirit one minute? Bella Cesar Vrata Cosca Bella Tos. Itebe teke taka Adabariande taleskame Katobe lato sabarata Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Can you just, I just wanted to pray in the Holy Ghost Pray in the Holy Ghost Pray in the Holy Ghost very briefly Challenge with one of your ears. Either it removes uh, pulse frequently or something. Anybody here like that? All right. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, can we close our eyes so that don't get distracted? Put your hand in that ear now. That one. Put it there now. Okay. Come to the front. Come to the front so that we are sure. Come to the front. Wanting my sorrow, who by shame or Lord Rooney, what is that? God loves you. Lift your toes, lift your toes. Lord Rooney, what is my sorrow? Oh, need to run me a say. Oh, 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 oh,
Because of time, everybody in this room, lift your hands. I want to teach everybody in this room and this room only. Just these two rules. Lift your two hands. I just saw the spirit of God like 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 rain, like rain, just gusher. Just comes here. Lift your two hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. Let's see what God wants to do. I see people hungry here. Living bread, living water. What can I do without you? Pray in the Holy Ghost here. I don't know who that is, but can you pray in the Holy Ghost here? What can I do without you? Wait now, wait now. All of you here, pray in the Holy Ghost now. I want to hear your voice before I minister to you. Pray in the Holy Ghost now. Close your eyes as you pray. Close your eyes. Like the dew of the morning, Holy Spirit rest. Holy Spirit rest upon your heart like the dew of the morning holy spirit rests holy spirit there are 17 people there are 17 people there is a fire of the holy spirit an activation for ministry for ministry for ministry fear has hindered you timidity has crippled you doubt has called you to delay i pray now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I don't know who it is, Holy Spirit, but let your hand be upon them. Let your hand be upon them. Let your hand be upon them. Brothers and sisters, take, 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 receive, receive. That's right. Receive, 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 receive. Oh, Jesus. I need everybody here to shout Jesus just once. I see it. It's a very strong anointing for ministry here. You are going to shout Jesus just once. One, two, ready, shout it loud. From the front to the back, 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 from the touch, 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 touch. Oh my God. Receive. Wait. Those of you behind the cameras, those of you behind the cameras, lift your two hands, lift your two hands, lift your two hands, lift your two hands. Lift your two hands. Don't put your hand on your head, brother. Don't put your hand on your head. Lift your two hands. Please, let's follow instruction. Lift your two hands. Oh my God. Please help me tap that brother whose hand is on his head to lift his two hands. Follow instruction. Very sensitive. Follow instruction. Lift your two hands over here. Holy Spirit divine. I pray now. Now watch this. This is what is going to happen because of time. The Holy Spirit can work simultaneously. He can do 50 things at one time. Depending, depending on the openness of your heart. Now as your two hands are lifted, I want to pray. For as many here who desire a genuine encounter with the Holy Spirit. That will change their lives and destinies. And make them correct back to us. That hears the voice of God. And responds to the prompting of the Spirit. And defeats addiction. Lift your two hands wherever you are. Everybody, you can join this prayer. This is very powerful. I just saw the spirit of God touching people here. You are going to shout the name of Jesus from the very depth of your heart just once. Just once. Are you ready now? Or you are not ready. Are you ready now? One. Now, those of you here, make sure you also join to shout. One, two, ready. Shout it now. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch. 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 In the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive. At the back. Receive. Oh my God, that lady in blue, receive in the name of Jesus. By my left, receive, 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 receive. Now, 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 my God. Receive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's just about nine people. There are still more people. There are four people here. It's like a very strong heat on your head. Very strong heat. It's a deliverance anointing. You need deliverance. You need deliverance. When I mean deliverance, I mean experiential deliverance. 
Christ has delivered you. I'm speaking about experiential deliverance. You are going to shout the name of Jesus again. Please close your eyes. Forget about who is man. If it's you and Jesus, this is a very powerful night. Close your eyes. You will shout the name Jesus once from the very depth of your heart. Are you ready now? My God. Are you ready now? One, two, ready. Shout it now. Receive, receive, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us upon Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance and holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess. That's right. Receive, 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 receive. Oh my God. Demons of darkness, come out, come out, lose your grip now. Spirit of immorality, come out and lose your grip. In the name of Jesus, Bashata, Yakata, Rakateke, Esopeta. Oh my God. Put your hand on her shoulder. Just on her. Yes. Holy Spirit, thank you. 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 Please help them. Thank you. That lady is wearing blue, right? That one is wearing blue, Abby. Huh? Is she wearing blue? Good. That's it. I saw ladies in blue and the hand of God. Come out in the name of Jesus. Receive grace. Oh my God. Can a woman help her, please? There's a strong deliverance anointing. Touch. Come out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let every other name fade. Jesus, take your rest. Biola here. Is there any Biola here? Mommy. Ah, you are Biola. Is there mommy please come? But is there any other Biola here? Ah. Okay. Jesus. You were praying outside the other time. Is that true, man? You see, when I walked past you, the Spirit of the Lord said to me that there was something in your heart and the Lord said as we tell you man please come that he has seen your heart he sees your intent he designs your motives he understands the purpose of your please hold my hand man. do you mind Holy Spirit divine can we pray in the spirit God is doing something awesome here shadow. oh Jesus no shadow you won't lie hey! you won't lie help me sing it help me sing it to me To me, no shadow you will light up, no shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, running out to me. There's no wall you would keep, there's no wall you will keep down, mountain you will tear down, running out to me. Oh, the overhead, the everhand, the red. Reckless love of God, oh, you chase is the end of the love of me, the night, the night. I call you burning, I don't deserve it, still you give yourself away. Oh, you your the ever ready. Reckless love of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Can we pray in the spirit for one more minute so that? Here. Is there any 
Janet here? Is there any Janet here? If you are not, you have to, there has to be either a Janet or you have a sister that is Janet, but there is a Janet. Thank you, Jesus. There's a brother standing by that AC. There's somebody standing by that AC behind that pink woman. There's somebody standing behind that pink woman that is carrying. Can you tell the person to stand up? There's somebody sitting at that AC. I've seen somebody sitting in there. Oh my God. Aha, come with the baby. Come with the baby. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeshua. Amashia, Lion of Judah, Shout hallelujah. Jesus, if you are blessed already, shout hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God is so good. How many of you believe that? God is so good. How many of you believe that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, minister very briefly. I'm still within the ambit of my time, but I will minister briefly and then we'll pray. Already I believe strongly that uh, the men of God who has shared, in fact, when daddy was sharing, I was like, what, what, what are we going to say? But God has a word for us. The two men of God that have blessed us have done very tremendously, and I really thank God for their lives. I want to appreciate the organizers of uh, Abuli Egba Praise for the opportunity to come share God's word with you. And I'm grateful to you all, and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate our mother here. Very wonderful mommy. Let's celebrate mommy. God bless you, man. In Jesus' name. All right, very quickly. Uh, 
let's check a few scriptures just about because of time we'll just do seven scriptures and we'll pray very quickly Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10 you can remove this one just put Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 10 Ecclesiastes chapter 10 can you give me strings because I'm seeing that God is still doing some things there's somebody by my left at the back you are in debt you need you need when, now I'm not talking of general this is not a general prayer now person I speak about by my left you you are in debt you need you need money as a matter of urgency whoever that is if you are not ashamed can you raise up your hand please lift your hands where you are because of time don't worry sir no it, it doesn't matter the distance it will reach you please lift your two hands I hope you don't mind Holy Spirit thank you for revealing we know that when you reveal you don't reveal to disgrace you reveal to release therefore I stretch my hands to him and I declare the name of Jesus let help locate you now let supernatural help locate you now. Wisdom for wealth, let it come upon you. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm seeing that later on, give it uh, in four months' time, so people are going to come together again to invest with you. To invest with the years. I'm not talking of Yahoo, but they are going to come to invest. They will just believe in what you are doing and invest in it. And as they invest with you, you will profit very mightily. You will profit very mightily. Even now as I speak, I, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing like a passport. Something that has to do with an international operation. Is that true? I'm seeing, I'm seeing that there is that pool. Who, who, who knows what I'm talking about? Does anybody? Do you have anybody that can confirm what I'm seeing? Somebody shout glory. <laughs> I thought you, I said shout glory. Shout it. A prophet, a prophet does not need to wear purple and white. God's battle acts is not about uh, noise. It's about potency. Are we together? God has answered you. Madam, please stand. Where are your children? Where are they? No, what, do you mean you are believing God? Are we together? Oh, gee, are we together? I'm not, am I, am I, do I know anybody here? Mommy, what are you, you are talking to me? <laughs> Lift your two hands. God has asked, come, please come, please come. Let's celebrate Jesus as they come. <laughs> God is good to you. Are you members of this church? Are you faithful members? And that's why that's why God visited. Me, I don't really like praying for unfaithful people. He used to stress the pastor. When they make it, they will, they will not serve God again. Amen. Lift your two hands. Holy Spirit, thank you. Let's sing that, my son. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. What a savior. Can I have an usher, please? There is an anointing. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a savior. What a savior. What a friend. What a friend. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Hold your head Hallelujah, what a Savior, what a friend, glory, glory, hallelujah, what a Savior, what a friend. Father, in the name of Jesus, I, mommy please come, mommy please come. Let's agree with mommy too. Father, oh my God. Oh my God. Ah. In the name of Jesus, mommy, please lay hand on her. I will lay hands on me. Holy Spirit, the grace for wealth. I see the Lord speaking to your family concerning the grace for wealth. You have a helps ministry. I see you have a helps ministry. There is grace for generosity upon the both of you. I ask now in the name of Jesus, let it come upon you strong. Let it come upon you strong. Let it come upon you strong. Receive in the name of Jesus. 
grace upon him. <laughs> oh, when Adam and Eve sinned against God, they were separated from him, yet they had fruit of the womb. Is that true? If man under the cross has fruit of the womb, how much more the new creation in Christ Jesus? You will conceive. I declare uncommon dimensions of potency, fertility, strength. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit. Church, can we pray in the Holy Ghost one minute? Is God not good? Can we pray in the Holy Ghost one minute? It's done. It's done. Who is tired here? Come, come. It's done. Rejoice. Let's celebrate Jesus. <laughs> were you participating when we were praying? Were you serious? Who was sitting near you? Was he, was he serious? Lift your toes. A, 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 a battle axe is, is not just a weapon of war. I need to explain something. Please bring it down a little. Let me explain something. Do you know that? A battle axe is not just a weapon of war. A battle axe must be in the hand of the handler. Meaning that a battle axe must carry a level of intimacy with the warrior himself, the Lord of hosts. Meaning that whether it is in the bus or in the bedroom, God can still walk through you. If your battle axe ship is only in church and holding mic, that anointing is not strong enough. The anointing does not only work. There are some people once they hold mic, then the anointing. No, no. You don't need you don't need a mic for the Holy Spirit to work. The Bible says, once has he spoken, twice have I heard. You can speak from the corner of your room or your knees, and God hears your voice. Is your voice we want to hear? And your face we want to see. Is your face you want to see? Is your voice you want to hear? As I'm teaching, we'll be given word of knowledge. It's one of the strong dimensions. And every time God allows for the flow of the word of knowledge or the word of wisdom, there is always the healing dimension and other things follow it. The working of miracles. It's true. It's true. There's someone here with a pain in the leg. If you have a pain in your leg, please start. A pain in your leg, please start. Great. Lift up your right hand only, Jesus. You see that? You see that? Do you believe in instant healing? Do you believe in instant healing? Mm. There's someone here with a challenge with your eyes. Please stand. A challenge with your eyes. Like astigmatism. A challenge with your eyes. Please stand. Uh huh. There's someone here. The right part. Somewhere in your back here, the right part, it aches you terribly. Even when you try to, I'm not talking of JD, JD, it's not JD, this one is not JD. I'm saying that even when you try to stretch, it's like it's not going. Who is that person? Please stand. <laughs> now, what I'm doing for you is just a simple practical. It's not guessing, no, it's not guessing. It's simple practical on how the gifts of the spirit work. And what I want to do is to demystify it in such a way that even you can walk in it. Now, because God has identified all of you, lift your two hands toward heaven. But if you, if you don't desire healing, it's okay, you can say, but if you desire, can we pray in the spirit one minute? Do you believe in healing? Do you believe in healing? 
Oh yeah, pray now. How you pray will determine. Pray now. Let's see. Thank you, Lord. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes. Wait. Who has a who has a pain on the toe? What do you call this? This toe, like your toe. Who is the person on your toe, like that big one? It pains you on your leg. You are the one. Please come. You see? Can we celebrate Jesus? What? 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 Which one of your legs? Right leg. Is that true? What did I use for the illustration now? The right leg, is that true? Now, do you believe in Easter healing man? Do you believe you can be healed now? Lift your two hands. Let's spend the Holy Ghost one minute now, very quickly. hands are lifted, lift it above your head. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Holy Spirit. Father, confirm your word. Release the healing anointing. No, don't, don't worry. Don't say anything. The healing anointing. Upon as many who desire healing in their bodies standing. Father, by your mercy, as a point of contact, as I count one to five, let the healing anointing touch them. Don't say amen, don't worry. Talking to the Father, don't worry. One. Two. The healing anointing touches you. Three. It's your season for an encounter. Four. Thank you, Lord. 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 Uh -huh. The first person is healed now. The first person is healed now. Somebody is healed now. Somebody is healed now. Another person is healed now. Oh, thank you, Lord. Now, as I lay hands on now, the hand of God is going to come upon others in the congregation. Holy Spirit, I pray. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of sickness and infirmity. Release the healing anointing. Flow into these bodies. Flow into this bodies. Flow into this bodies. Flow into this bodies. Flow into this body. Now, take in the name of Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. Jesus. I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free. No change. No change. Those of you lifting up your hand now, put a hand on your head. Put a hand on your head. Close your eyes. You will check your leg, you find out that you are healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. Madam, you are healed in Jesus' name. Not only that, there's a financial miracle coming to you. The Lord will reward your labor of you. He will honor his word in your life. In the name of Jesus. You are healed. Can you check your leg? Is there a way you can confirm? Please check. Don't be shy. Uh, just press it. Just how you used to do life is possible. Check it. Like, you know, face them because they may think there is some drama. Tell them, eyes it now. No, no, come, take. I can flex my toe very well. I can't flex the toe. I feel pain. Yes. That is a way. Yes. Some people are aware too. Yes, I can now flex it very well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's well with you. Now, the rest of you standing, you are healed in Jesus' name. 
You are healed in Jesus' name. Sit down. You guys have time. Sit down. Uh, battle acts now. Very quickly. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 10. Let's do something together. We'll read a few scriptures together. All I just needed to do is please read out loud. If you read out loud, everything will go fast. Are we together? One to read. If the iron, I like the way you read. Brother, I like the way you read. God bless you. Read again. One to read. If, wait. If is a conditional statement. Is that true? That means it's not necessarily the state of every act. Is that true? He said, if the iron be blunt. That means there is a possibility for iron to be blunt. Is that also true? He says, if the iron be blunt and it do not what? Wet the edge. Then, uh-huh, must he? Somebody's not reading here. Some, yeah, nobody, somebody's not reading here. Then must he? Notice, we are talking about God's battle acts. Let me quickly say that, you see, that scripture in Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20, contextually, the scripture is not talking to a Christian. The scripture, the prophet, was prophesying the will of God to a man called Cyrus. Have you heard of Cyrus before? Are we together? Cyrus was not a man of God, was he? Hello. You don't like Bible study? Do you still like Bible study here? Cyrus was not an apostle, was he? Cyrus was not a woman of God, was he? Cyrus was not a church person, was he? Cyrus didn't attend the temple, did he? And God said he will use Cyrus. And over 300 years, when Cyrus was born, Cyrus fulfilled prophecy without knowing the God that gave him prophecy. Do you know what that means? If God can use an unbeliever to do his will, how much more you his child? You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You are not Cyrus. And God is saying, if I can tell Cyrus that I will do this, how much more you who have the Holy Ghost on your inside? The limitation that we have as God's people is not the devil. Why? Because on the cross, Jesus defeated the devil. Do you agree? Okay, you don't like it. Do you agree? <laughs> because a lot of things have, has, has been shared, I won't touch on some things. But I'll just teach on maybe three points and then we'll pray. Please write this down. Why the mighty fall? Why the mighty fall? You are God's battle axe. True. You are God's weapon of war. True. You are God's ambassador. True. You are God's anointed emoji. True. But if you are not conscious of who you are and the pitfalls that accrue to men that God chooses to use, you'll be shocked that although the Holy Ghost is on your inside, your life will contradict what God said about you. The perils of the anointed. Somebody say with me. The, the, what did I what did I call it now? Huh? Ah, okay, I've changed the topic for you. Why the mighty fall? Let's do three because of time. Turn with me very quickly too. Okay, let me give you examples of battle axes according to scripture. Number one, you have Moses. Exodus chapter number three. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro. And he got to worry the mountain of God. And the Bible said a bush was burning. Is that true? How many of you remember a bush was burning? And Moses said, I will now turn aside and behold this great sight. Why the bush is not born? And when God saw that Moses turned aside to behold the great sight, why the bush is not born, then God spoke from the burning bush. And then he told Moses, take off your shoes. Why? For where you stand. Fast forward. God told Moses, I've, I've heard the cry of my people Israel. Listen, a battle axe is not a decorative instrument. It's a war instrument. Some Christians want the Holy Ghost for decoration. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, there's no time for decoration. A man drowning does not need drama. He needs a savior. A prisoner does not need interior decoration. He needs somebody to lose him and let him go. Is that true? Now, when the Holy Ghost comes into your life, what he comes to do is that he comes to introduce you to a dimension that you never knew existed before in you. So, the possibilities that you'll be able to command as a child of God is dependent upon your understanding who the Holy Ghost is and the perils that accrue to anybody that God chooses to use. Moses was a stammerer. 
But listen, even the weakness of Moses can be used by God to defeat the enemy. God said, call Aaron, your brother, to be interpreting for you. But you, you will be a God to Pharaoh. Listen, it's not saying you'll be a God as in G-O-D. Because gods are deities that, des that desire or that can be worshipped. Man must not be worshipped. Any creation that desires worship is a God. And such things are idolatry and abomination before God. Is that true? So when he says you are a God to Pharaoh, what he's saying is that because you are representing me, anything that you say to Pharaoh stands. Meaning if Moses said, you know what? Um, Egypt, there's going to be an earthquake. It will happen. Why? Because Moses didn't send himself. Are we together? The reason why you are timid, the reason why you are afraid, the reason why some things will not find expression is not because you don't have the ability. It's because you are afraid. So when God in his jealousy deposits his anointing upon your life, there are some things which you watch out for. Another person you see as a battle axe was Joshua, the son of Nun. Bible says the spirit of wisdom was upon him for Moses laid his hands on him. Then you see Gideon in Judges chapter 6. Is that true? They've already shared it powerful things so I don't I just want to steer you on some things I will pray Gideon was the threshing wheat in the wine press do you remember and the angel spoke to him he said thou mighty man of valor Gideon said and from that day Gideon's life changed why an encounter with reality but there is one battle lacks that I want to mention we will check his life and pray tonight his name is Samson Judges chapter 14. Samson. Somebody say Samson. Do you know Samson? Who is Samson here? <laughs> he didn't come. Let's look at Samson. I just want us to pray. The word has been shared, so we'll pray. Turn with me very quickly to Judges. Judges chapter 13. Judges chapter 13. Verse 3 to 5. Judges 13. Thank you, sir. But give me 13, 3 to 5. Can we read together? One to go. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Aha, Behold now, thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear. Next verse. I pray thee, and drink not wine, and eat not any. Verse 5. Look at verse 5. Why? For lo, peace. Hi. Mm -hmm. From the womb, and it shall begin to. Give me verse number twenty-five. Let's read together. One to go. And the spirit. Oh, let's read together. No, sir. It's only this people that are reading. Let's read together. I want to read. And the spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zora and Eshtabon. So, from the scriptures we read, we see, number one, that Samson was consecrated from the womb. Is that true? Number two, we see that the anointing is not a product of labor. It's a product of grace. Is that true? Did Samson labor to be anointed? Hello. You don't, they don't like me. Did Samson labor to be anointed? Okay, they, they are called. Did Samson labor to be anointed? But was he anointed? Or oh, what he performed was not anointed? Listen, you can be anointed even in error. So you will use the gift of God to serve the purpose of the enemy of God. Ah! I don't, I don't know if you can receive this one I want to say. The book of Galatians chapter 4, for example, the epistle of Paul. Do you know that the argument in Galatians, the book of Galatians, was about Peter. Peter was preaching a new sermon that Judaism is the way to Christianity. Do you remember? Paul had to write. Are we Bible students? Say yes. Paul had to write and say, Sir, it's not like this. Ah, ah. How can you say now that it is the law of Moses, the kosher diet and circumcision that is the way that you need to add it to Christianity? And Paul wrote Galatians to rebuke Peter. Guess what? Peter answered him not a word. But remember that in the book of Acts of the Apostles, whose shadow was healing the sick? 
some, you see some ministers that you say they are fake they are not actually fake the anointing is there but their character has made their labor corrupted you are still are, we, are you getting what I'm saying what I'm saying is very deep and I'm going to open it a little see you can you can you, hands can be laid on you and I say become battle lacks receive fire and all that and guess what God does not easily discard men you know why because God is love and his grace is there so that's why the gifts and the callings of God are without water that without repentance. Meaning, a man can rise from the bed of fornication like Samson and still carry the gates. And people said, Wow, emoji. But there are things Samson has not conquered, but he's conquering in public. He can be a public success and a private disgrace. Why the mighty fall? Number one, Samson had an eye for women. Very practical things. I, I can teach you deep things. This one too. They are deep. Are they deep? They are deep. Depth is in simplicity. Look at this very quickly. Number one, Samson had an eye for women or affinity for women. Judges chapter 14, verse 1. Very quickly. Let's read together, please. One, two. And Samson went down. He went down to where? Don't forget. Tim Nath. And saw a woman in Tim Nath. Of the daughters, give me chapter 16, verse 1. Can we read together? No, chapter 16, verse 1. One, two, read. Then Samson went to Gaza. Where did he go before? Timnath. Are we together? You don't are we together? Where did he go before? Timnath. Now, where did he go? Gaza. And saw there what? And my God. This is a man that was consecrated from the womb. His parents helped him by making sure that everything the angel instructed, they did. But the man of God himself, that the angel left heaven to come and speak about, guess what? Even the angel begged them. He said, I beseech you. He begged the parents of Samson. But when Samson came upon the scene, Samson found out that he could do ministry without God. This is how the deceitfulness of sins affects young ministers. You know what we do? We see before, when you first see, you say, ah, God, ah, this is wrong. Later, you just find out, but oil in there flow now. Meet here, now. And another meeting, and before you know it, you can be caught in iniquity, standing from a room that is filled with uh, those that live couples, like, what do you call that thing? Those, you know that thing? Living to cohabitation. Not habitation, cohabitation. And you find out that you will still stand on the altar. She used to be battle lax. You will stand. They will snap you. They will clap for you. But you will never have heaven's approval over your work. An eye for women. Brothers and sisters, let's be careful. If it's a sister, it's eye for men or eye for fellow sisters. If it's a brother, eye for women. Some You are moving because you see, what I'm telling you is what has happened before. Okay, you are walking and on your way to the junction, you have looked sideways like 20 times. What are you looking at? You are not looking at the signboard, you are looking at something else. Are we together? Okay, I don't are we together? <laughs> Listen, the enemy knows that if he can get your eyes, he has gotten your soul. An eye for women. What do you have an eye for? Forget. Listen. Forget that. Uh, ah, no. We are the redeemed. Okay. Even Paul says the redeemed. But in the book of Romans, Paul began to explain the dilemma, even of the redeemed. That there are two laws at work in your members. Is that true? There is the spirit of life in Christ. There's the, there is the law of sin and water and death. They are at war. He says the spirit lost it against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit. Two of them, they don't agree. Yet, it is you that must crucify the flesh daily. Job said, I made a covenant with my eyes that I will not look upon. That thing that you are looking at on your phone may be the reason why you may not become a real battle axe. You will be a battle axe, but you are blunt. There's no potency again. The same voice you will use to sing before and deliverance will take place. Now you sing, people clap. Huh? You say, whoa, wow. How was the ministration now? You say, it was nice, but you didn't sing that. You didn't sing it now. 
nobody can be lost in his presence again while you minister. But you are still getting invitations. Listen, the validity of a man's ministry is never about the number of invitations he receives. Have we praise? I bring the counsel of God to you. Don't let all you for ministerial fame distract you from becoming a battle axe. Are we together? I for women. I for the opposite sex. How the mighty fall. Check in church history. People with anointing but infidelity. The anointing was genuine. People's life were changed but the person's life didn't change. The anointing does not come to change your own life first as the carrier. What the anointing comes to do is to first give you wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. If the anointing has not prevailed against your flesh, it's because of immaturity. Not that God doesn't love you. You should be able to allow that same anointing that is working through you to now teach you sense that listen, God can use you to rock mighty things and yet you lose your reward in eternity even though you make it to heaven. Are we together? In fact, do you know that lack of character can disqualify you from becoming a gift to your generation? Are we together? The anointing can be genuine, but lack of character can close the doors. We are in a generation where <laughs> with the Lord deliver us. Now we, we argue about what, what, what we wear. What did they give me? We measure the potency of ministry by how much the crowd is wild and the size of the honorarium. So the way I know that I'm, I'm powerful in ministry now is that my honorarium is fatter than. So I ask my friend, you are my, what's the real name? Not Tosin, but I was your name. So you are my new friend. Now. Then I asked her, that program, that, what's it? Abuli Akbar praise. How much did they give you? Oh God, they gave you something. Let's say they gave him 20,000. Me, they now give me 14,000. I say, ah uh ah. -uh. Why? Because listen, even if you don't have an eye for women or men, you must have an eye for something. The reason why you have not fallen into the temptation of sexual immorality is because that's not your own journey. Before you met Christ, you didn't join into that. That's why it didn't happen. Are we together? Okay, since... Are we here? Let me talk to this one. Because you didn't join in on that path before you got born again. That's why it's not, it's not a challenge for you. So, you see a sister, it doesn't mean anything. But another brother, the sister dances too much in church. In church, he can have problems. Why? Because before he got born again, he was watching pornography. But you... You will use your own life to condemn that brother. That look at that brother. He's look at what he's doing. He's lost him. But me, I'm not giving to loss. That means I'm more spiritual. It is not true. The reason why you have not fallen into certain sins is because opportunity to manifest your weakness in that area has not come. So you can blame or not. Don't worry, Baba. Don't worry. Don't worry. You see, in my meetings, when I minister and somebody sleeps, two reasons. If the person is really sick, he can sleep. Number two, huh? if the person is struggling with insomnia and cannot actually sleep, in my meetings, they can, they can sleep. No, you find out that the person is actually able to sleep. Is that not a testimony? But again, some, some who just later find out that they just found themselves on the floor. Why? Something happened to them. Say, ah, who put me on the floor? <laughs> you know why? You, see, you may be sleeping, but you are still hearing what I'm saying. It's only you that don't know. Though. Listen, the spiritual man may sleep physically. His spirit is still awake. Amen. Okay. That does not mean you be sleeping. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's be encouraged. Now, listen. You join me so much in something. You have an eye. All of us have an eye for something. You, you must find what you have an eye for. You don't need research. You don't need to say, Lord, show me. You know. Are we together? Some, some things are not prayer points. Some things are sit down and examine. Are we together? Okay, since you don't like myself. Do you people? Why? No, no, leave her, madam. You know, listen, sometimes you have an eye. You, you may be money. It may be that you have an eye for money. You, it may be that you have an eye for fame. Can I have four people? Let me do, do, give an illustration. Can I have four people? Four hefty men. Men of God. Uh, okay, so you are not a man of God. One of what are you? Come, now, let's demonstrate a, a fire here. Now, I am the man, I hope you know I'm the man of God. 
It's not, I'm the man of, amen. It's not, I have the mic. Do you have mic? Watch me now. I am the guest minister. Is that true? Now, I may not have eye for ladies. Eh? But I have eye for pride. So guess what? Oh yeah. Now, when I move, huh? as the man of God, what do you do? You move. Are we together? Then you'll be greeting me very, very well. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Ah, wow. Well, yeah. Ah, well, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's all right. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Let me let me clean my shoe. God bless. Hey man, no do. Hey man, no be no. But hey man, no do. Hey, what is my okay? My baba taje. It's okay. Now watch this. Watch this. Some people's own quickly show. Sometimes when your weakness quickly show and you are disgraced before you are known, it's better. The higher the altitude, the more faster and terrible the fall. Is that true? You see, now that nobody knows you, and pastor is yapping, you and tell you, you are not serious. This is pride. Ah, rejoice. Because when you begin to rise to a level, sometimes even your spiritual father may decide not to correct you. When God decides to hold chastisement, ah, you, your prayer is not, thank you, Jesus. It's, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. Now, my own has shown, they, they cleaned it, and then I, everybody saw that I was proud. Abby? Eh? Now, watch the other side of pride that some of us don't pay attention to. Now, we have a Christian the man of God. <laughs> Glory be to God. Emma Kim, is here in Kim. Is this how you are? People are never humble. Let people not know that. At least, ah, Glory to God. Oh, aye. But then, when you get home, then you play the scene again. I say, ah, you know I want to get you. You know what I want to get you. You Sometimes what you are thanking God for, you ought to be crying because it's never the will of God for you. Papa Kumuyi came out from a limousine. How many of you saw that picture? Oh, yeah, I say the truth now. Came out of a limousine. And then you know what we were doing? Everybody were sharing the picture. Abby, you know she had? And then some, I saw some young women you were writing. Ah, this is glory. It's not true. Because if you travel out of the country, a limousine is a taxi. Is that true? Eh? You see, exposure sometimes can give cause a problem. The man of God is not seeing that as glory. You, you are not looking at years of labor in the gospel without scandal. You are not looking at fasting and praying and the ridicule that he has gone through in ministry. You don't look at what he left to obey the call, but, but you just see that, that le limousine. And a power bike, the one that has bass sound, power bike, and then the aeroplane. And he said, God, God, I know you called me. I'm going to the nations. If the idol in your heart has not been conquered, if you go to the nations, you will return with more demons. The demons are brother more sophisticated than the one in Nigeria. They don't use a pokupa, but they are terrible. One of the prayers we need to praise God. Opportunity for me to quickly see myself and not flatter myself. Some of us are flattering ourselves. It's part of the reason why the mighty fall. Hold the mic now. We have to tell them shout, shout hallelujah. Somebody now falls down. Huh. This man has not examined his life for six weeks. He has not had quiet time for six weeks. But when he says shout hallelujah, one sister. That was hungry since morning. Just fell down and said, Oh, get me. I'm even looking. Hey, man, baby, hey, man. I want to sleep. Then he said, Leave her. There is a power. He said, Delusion from the pit of darkness. You will flatter yourself that you are still in the will of God. And the Holy Ghost he has left you to yourself to be enjoying yourself. And then I come and say, Moji, you are the greatest man of God in town. Forget. There's nobody, even all those are forget which apostle. You are now an apostle. We give ourselves tight to. We flatter ourselves. That's what happened to Samson. He said, I will shake myself as before. He wist not that the spirit of God. That you can even have results. And even result is not the proof that God is helping you. Why? There are many things that control results. Amen. An eye for women. 
your own can be an eye for anything is still an eye the bible calls it evil eye Balaam had an eye for money is that true sir somebody say eye for money the king told him forget use this gift to use it and actually if Balaam prophesied it will happen no? 